And what are some of the strategies that sensory scientists should employ to be able to do that? Well, it's fine to be able to know all the methods that are in the book, so to speak, and all the methods that you learn at school. And that's an essential piece, is that you need to know everything in the toolbox in the same way that a doctor knows, uh, has all the pieces of equipment in his little black bag or her little black bag. But in addition to knowing those methods, it's critical that you know when to use the correct method for the problem or the situation that's there and then how to get the information from that method and transform that information from, um, from just data on a piece of paper or a printout to answering a question that the product developer had about either a project objective or a specific test objective that the product developer or the quality person had. And so we're always looking at that. And in addition to knowing all the methods and attaching all the strategy, I think it is absolutely critical for every single sensory scientist to know how to taste or smell or feel or listen or look at products so that you become the vessel in which the company keeps all the attributes that describe the company's products so that you can then inform product development about how to better describe products, how to better write briefs to suppliers so that at, at all times everyone is really on top of product understanding and then ultimately consumer understanding.